So we find ourselves at Gillum, ladies and gentlemen. Wind's blowing, sun's shining, Kyle's sweating. Gonna do a test flight on this airbox repair that I did. Let's get to that. Do a little pre-flight on this rig and make sure it's all working. And if it is, I'm gonna go out here and fly this Gen Carve 20 that Matt Minyard loaned me. Carve sure is an amazing glider. Very responsive. Very, very responsive, yo. There we go. Oh, that feels good. We got Crop Duster doing operations just here to the east of us, but he is over there and we are over here. So I will keep my eye out for that guy. I'm going to clip in before I try to crank it, just so it'll for sure be wrong. So these winds aren't insanity, they're just strong. It's a strong day, thermal day, but it's going to lay down. Like they're, they're saying that it's supposed to lay down. Clip. Oh, yeah. It's idling a little bit low. This is a cold start. First time I've cold started it since I adjusted it. I did a factory carb reset. I turned the low screw one fourth to one third out and the big screw one and one eighth to one and one fourth out. I don't remember exactly where, but I think I leaned on the side of rich versus lean just until we get a good plug reading. Motor could die at any time, but I always find my pair of motors like they're gonna die anytime anyway. You know, safety first, that kind of stuff. We about to find out though. Mm, so it's idling a little hotter now, that's good. Thing looks good on my pre-flight. Felt like it stuck there for a second. Like my throttle wasn't wanting to let go. So again, the trick is just to, uh, it's just to always do right. Oh, I feel a pretty strong gust coming through. That's a, that's a substantial gust. I'm gonna let that one pass before I do an inflation. So it's running rough as shit, I don't know why. All right, here we go, let's kite her up. Oh yeah. Huh, come on back, come on back, there we go. Wind's all over the place today, for sure. Oh, collapse. It's ugly. Ugly McUgly sauce today. Bunch of birds. Probably a thermal coming this way. There it is. Ha, ah, I caught that shit. I caught a thermal on a Gen Carve 20. So that means the edge of it is over here somewhere. And I just fell out of it. Yeah, dang, the motor is just running like shit. It's just rough. And this glider will penetrate though. It's not something I'm worried about like I was the other day. So I'm gonna kill it and make some adjustments on it. Stall, stall, stall. There we go. So it feels like it's running rich. And when it's running rich, we want to lean it out just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. Don't want to adjust the idle. And you never want to adjust it cold. You always want to make sure the engine is hot. When you make any sort of carburetor adjustments, airbox is holding good. That was another thing I wanted to test. I'm pleased with that. The throttle, it's got the proper amount of slack in it. So that shouldn't be a factor. I believe I've got a screwdriver over here somewhere. There it is, custom made by Kylo. So this is always tricky. You know, you got this, uh, this hot muffler right here and you got those carb adjustments right there. So inevitably you burn the shit out of your knuckles on there, but you have to do it when it's hot. Hell, that one don't even have a screwdriver attachment. It's just a, let me go get something else. Like a little skinny Allen wrench. That's going to help that. There's a little, little adjustment. That might work. That's a half. And that's a one. All right, and then one and a eighth. All right, that's about right there. This one. Let's close her on down. And we're going to open that to one quarter. All right, I'm going to try those adjustments and see how they sound on the ground. Then at least we'll know good place to start and those recommended settings my guess is they could be variable quite a bit clip
So it's almost got this lope. Hmm. Still running slightly rough. So do we close the main jet a little bit? I think so. I think we need to close it just a little. Very minute adjustments. Just slightly closed. So we're gonna try that. Set that there so I can lose it. And clear. That's running a lot better. And it's actually idling a little higher too. So I think I'm gonna lean out the low end ever so slightly. And when I say ever so slightly, I'm literally talking about the width of the blade of the screwdriver. Like that's how much I'm gonna twist it. Just the width of that blade, not very much at all. Right there. Also the slightest turn on idle. Blade of a screwdriver. And I believe we're just almost set. And then we'll go do another test flight, try not to die. And all should be well. Goofy ass weather. Uh oh, the wind has blowed the wing. So, let's see here. Get that out the way right there. Oh, look. I, and that's why you don't want to lay your, uh, you don't ever want to lay your risers on the ground at the end of the lines, right? The wind blew the wing like 10 feet, but I had the risers really close to it, so they've not even moved. So, if you stretch them out tight, lay them down, the wind blows, there they go. So, let's see how this is. Clip. One handed pull. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Let's do a little high wind session, why don't we? I'm down with that. So uh, it feels kind of awkward. I've not made a video in a while. As far as I've not edited a video in a while. I've been videoing stuff, but man, it's all becoming so random. I've been really busy with training. Like I haven't really had the opportunity to do a whole lot of video editing. Like when I get home, I'm tired. I'm going to bed or I'm taking care of the pharmacy. My brother has had his time off recently. And on his time off, I have to cover, you know, his portion of work at the pharmacy and he does it whenever I'm not there so it's a it's a good trade-off but you know I get whipped and I get over like overworked and kind of the first thing to take a take a back seat to it is either chores or video editing all right here we go let's inflate uh, well, no too much brake fell back down it's gonna need the A's I'm afraid it's gonna need the A's for sure yeah, motor sounding real good now like it's supposed to. All right, there we go. Let's get up before I get slammed. Whoa, <laughs> I hit a wall. That's funny. The air is rowdy today, my friends. Rowdy McRowdy sauce. Whatever that tastes like. It's only for a, a few special people that like the taste of that. Rowdy McRowdy sauce is definitely not for everyone. Woo! Mmm. Lifted and dumped and lifted and dumped So the real trick to doing a proper maintenance flight is to not do it very long at first so I'm happy that I've got my settings right. I'm also happy to set her back down for like the next 10 or 15 minutes and let this shit calm down some. Whoa, just got spit out. Car coming, no planes. Trading. Yeah, anytime you get lifted, you got to get ready. 
for that getting spit out. So I'm gonna get some altitude. Woohoo! Okay, maintenance flight. Calm down, cow. Put this thing down. Land. And kite the wing. Back over here to the truck. There we go. Man, the wind's honking today. I'm gonna kind of tuck this thing to the side here. Let this motor cool off just a little bit and then check the plug. See what it looks like. I put a new one in there when we were trying to diagnose it just to eliminate the variables. Again, wings on the ground, lots of slack. That's gonna save you some hassle for sure. There's a jet. I thought I heard one. He's way up there behind the clouds now. I'm sweating. I ain't sweated paramotoring in a minute. Spring's here, baby. Spring's here. I don't know what to do with my hands. Woo! You know what to do, right, John? All right. The sun's a little lower. The wind's a little smoother. Let's see if I can crank this thing one-handed. Clear. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Why ain't it working? Hmm. Maybe it needs a little prime. Or maybe whatever adjustment I made wasn't good. So let's see. Throw a little fuel in there. Put it back on. Before I clip in, we'll attempt to restart. Hey. There we go. So because it was hard to start, I'm thinking maybe I should rich in the low screw a little bit. That uh, could be the fix. It cranked up easy when it was warm. Not so much when it had cooled off a bit though. Sometimes it takes a few sessions to get these things tuned just right. There's a gradient that's right about there. I don't think that's a thermal. I think that's just winds aloft. Oh, that was a thermal. Man, everything's blooming and lush and green. It's 80 degrees out here. Oh, those aren't crops. I think it's just grass growing in the field out here. Good Lord. It's so spicy. It's like Tabasco sauce on the Twinkie. It's just all fucked up. Woohoo! Look at that downwind run, boys. Oh, the sun went behind a cloud. Maybe that'll quelch it for a bit. It's probably what everything released, though, what I just felt. <laughs> oh, it's too dangerous to be low. It's still pretty shitty up there. Yeah, it's worse up high. Mm -hmm. well, they missed it this morning. Maybe they missed it this evening. Kiting makes you a winner. Be a winner. I want to test the air again and test the motor adjustment again. <laughs> See if it's right. We got people wanting to fly. Oh, I'll take this carve up again, I guess. That trick, third time's a charm, right? Yep. Ah, it's cranking easier now. That was a cold start. I think I may have the adjustment just about how I like it. I can hear the slightest squeak on the belt. So slight. Come on. I know there's wind. 
Give me a little more. There we go. Move away. Move away. It's better, but it still ain't real good. It's just not very good, guys. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, below like 100 feet is pretty docile like right here you see me when I climbed out I tried to hold just steady right. about a hundred feet it just started you know just bucking it's like the worst place to get bucked I mean, you can handle it oh, I can handle it. I just don't want to handle it. come on now hey ever gonna get better don't let don't listen to me Dave unless I say something smart okay <laughs> it's just ugly at all the wrong levels you can tell by looking at the windsock that it's uh just bucking around I think we got like a low gradient like it's strong at 100 feet. What they were saying this morning, we're getting right now is what I believe is going on. Pretty nice below 100 feet actually. You know, these guys are kiting, no problem. Somebody that's under 10 flights, you send them up in some jukey ass weather 100 feet off the ground and that's right where they need to be most stable on their approach. They start correcting oscillations and shit at 100 feet. Before you know it, they've done pulled all their flare authority out of the glider. I think we're gonna say wait. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, sadly. But you never get to pick it. Whether something that just happens the way it happens. We'll get that figured out. Oh, we're still recording. Well, the sunset looks amazing anyway. Everybody's doing well. No need to push our luck. Everything is good. We're going to call it like it is and, and go from here. It makes me sad sometimes, though, when, like, I wish somebody could go. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you did. I'm going to pack some stuff up and square some gear away and get back to the students. What's up, everybody? Kyle out. What's this video even going to be about? Kyle tests the air and eats Tabasco on his Twinkies? I don't know. I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, thumbs up it or down it. I don't give a fuck, but do something. See y'all later.